It's Kate Lawler reporting for Virgin Radio from the Big Brother House 2023. This feels very nostalgic. I won the series, humble brag, back in 2002. 17 years later, we've got a brand new house in a brand new location. We don't know how many housemates are going to enter this house on Sunday night, but there are 16 dining table chairs. So let's have a look at the eye. This speaks to me, love, peace and hair grease. I feel like, I feel like this just resembles how Big Brother's going to be this year. Can we talk about this light? I'm saying nothing. I'm saying nothing. And I know what you're thinking. Stop it. Filth. The housemates will spend up to six weeks in this house. This sofa area here is where nominations are always revealed and where we're all told who is going to be evicted from the Big Brother house. And I imagine once you are evicted, that is the staircase you'll walk up. You have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. No. Do you know who I am? I won the series in series three. You have been evicted. Not on my watch. Please Come with me. Big Brother house. I feel like in a music video. I feel like I'm in a Madonna music video. Just look at these colours. It's brilliant. Oh my goodness me. Oh my. I can't actually deal with that chair. I can't deal with the chair. Are you ready for this? Hi, big brother. We are now going to show you this year's bedroom. It's enormous. And not only do we have single beds this year, we've got doubles. We've got doubles. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, interesting. 15 beds. So we're talking 15 bed spaces with including the two in the double. So people are going to have to share a bed from the very first night. Interesting. We never had any of this in my day. All we had was a hairdryer, I think. What's in here? Is this a wardrobe? Oh, yeah. We didn't have wardrobes either. We literally lived out of our suitcase. You've upped your game, big brother. I'm impressed. Look at the size of these cameras. Big brother is always watching. Do you remember when, um, you might not remember this, but there was a guy in my series called Tim and he was ginger, but he dyed his hair black. And one day he was in bed and he was shaving his chest with a Bic razor and hiding from Big Brother. And when he saw one of these cameras move, he quickly hid the Bic razor and laid there and pretended he wasn't shaving his chest. But what we didn't know was that seven other cameras all filming him do it. I just, I'm very envious of all the housemates this year because this is such a sick house. Everyone will sit here and this is where they'll gossip. And this is where they'll slack everybody off and be really upset that they got nominated, even though that is the name of the game. You're supposed to get nominated. Bitch corner, I'm gonna call this. In my series of Big Brother back in 2002, we had to leave the bedroom and walk across the dining room and the living room to get to a bathroom if we needed a wee in the middle of the night. Not this year. Wonder if there'll be any shenanigans going on in this bathroom. That's the smallest thing I've ever seen. How do you fit one hand in there? This bathroom is out of this world. I've never seen a bathroom this gangster in all my life. Look at it. This isn't a bathroom. Have you ever seen a triple sink? I haven't. Not one, not two, but three sinks. Why not? It's Big Brother 2023. Two showers. I like this. You could be showering in that shower. We could just like have a conversation. We'd just be washing our hair, washing our bodies, and be like, so do you fancy so and so? Yeah, I really fancy my room. I'm gonna get. And I love the tub in the middle of the room. This is where drunken late night emotional conversations and arguments will happen. People come in the bathroom to have a pop at other housemates. I'm feeling it. Absolutely stunning. Well done on the bathroom, big brother. They haven't confirmed yes or no, but I feel like these stairs is where you'll go if you're evicted. This is Big Brother. You have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. And you're like that. Bye, everyone. Bye. Walking awkwardly with your little suitcase, police suitcase up the stairs. And this is brand new for Big Brother. They've never had a private mezzanine living room before, which overlooks the rest of the house, but you do get some privacy. So because this is private, but you can see everyone, you could literally be in this room with the door shut saying, I hate... Eddie Temple Morris, that guy down there sitting on the sofa. Look at him. He's such a wiener. But Eddie Temple Morris wouldn't be able to hear you. I love Eddie Temple Morris, by the way. I just, it was the first name that came to my head. Sorry, Eddie. Let me show you the garden. First of all, can we check out the hot tub, please? And why not? It feels very secluded. Um, the eye, of course, making another appearance in the garden. This is bound to have all the action. Who are you voting for? We're not allowed to discuss nominations. Yeah, but so-and-so's been a bit of a bitch this week. Yeah. The memories I have of the Big Brother garden are some of the most engraved memories 
I lived on the poor side for I think six of the nine weeks I was in the house. So I spent a lot of my time outside because we had to shower outside in a cold shower. We had to go to the toilet outside. We had to grow our own vegetables and cook outside on a campfire. All we ate was bread, which was undercooked and fried eggs. It was horrible. It was really horrible. I remember once crying my eyes out because we had to get coal out of a bunker and I went to get some coal and the lid hit me on the head and then my glasses broke because they fell inside the bunker and I wasn't allowed to go and get a new pair from the rich side. Oh gosh, I'm not going to bore you with all those details, but memories. And I wonder if there's any escape route in here because if you are a Big Brother fan, you might remember Sandy from my year, the Scottish guy who peed in the bin as a departing gift for us all. Thank you, Sandy, if you're watching this. Late night chats with my dear friend, Johnny. Um, I remember in this garden. Hang on a minute. Where is the dining table? Where is their dining table? Do they still have PTSD from when Alison Hammond broke it in my series? Do you know what? Alison gets the flack for that. I was on it too. I'm sorry, Alison. It should have been both of us who got in trouble with Big Brother. You know how much the table was that she broke? £10,000. <laughs> you owe Big Brother 10K, Ali. Do you remember when we were saying this is probably where they're going to leave the Big Brother house? That's right. That's the job. They'll go up in a lift. And then when they leave the Big Brother house, they'll come out here. Crowds, saws of people will be lining up around the stage. Cheers or booze. All right, my time here is done. I've been evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh, I'm feeling very nostalgic. I'm feeling super excited. All we need now is some really good housemates. So fingers crossed, Series 20 does not disappoint. Kate Lawler signing off for Virgin Radio. Goodbye.